I was born profoundly deaf, bilateral sensorineural hearing loss. A daycare taker approached my mom and said, you might want to have your son's hearing tested because he's not babbling like the other kids. And they basically told my parents that I would never be able to hear. My mom wasn't really convinced with that answer. She was like, there's got to be something else besides just hoping for the best. She ran into the right people and learned about what was called a cochlear implant. They didn't really have a cochlear implant program and so they were just building it up. And as my parents, is it okay if Michael is our first pediatric patient? They went ahead and took that leap of faith and got me the cochlear implant at the age of two back in June of 1991. And of course, after I got the cochlear implant, went through intensive speech therapy and really was able to exceed all of those expectations. I mean, I am here today able to share my story. But little did I know what the future had in store. Right at the tail end of my college experience, I got a letter in the mail and it was an invitation to apply for this summer internship. And it was funny because I always, I had all these ideas that Cochlear was the sort of, you know, big corporation. And when I started there, it really felt more like a, a family. All of the Cochlear staff were always super friendly. And what has been the best part about working for Cochlear is seeing how passionate and caring they are about the recipients. They always look at how does this impact the recipient? What kind of experience does that create for the recipients? Are we helping them more and more? And that's just really remarkable to work for a company that puts a recipient to the first and truly changes lives. But because I have the cochlear implant and have been able to improve every so often with these new technologies and of course having the services and tools to help me continually push those boundaries, it's definitely a huge responsibility to be on that side of making sure that those hundreds and hundreds of thousands of recipients have that same opportunity that I've had all these years. So I definitely feel the need and, and urge to help others have that experience. One of the most wonderful things that I get to work on and as part of my job duties at Cochlear is to manage the Nucleus 6 upgrade. Nothing makes me happier being able to be on this particular project of making the Nucleus 6 upgrade available for those with the Nucleus 22 implant. So the Nucleus 22 is the very first implant that Cochlear created and has continued to support since the 80s. I've had my N22 implant since 1991, so it's 24 years old. And I don't have to worry about it, and it's been so reliable. It's not about the features, it's not about that 2.4 gigahertz technology, it's really about the, the new experiences that you get from it, going into those noisy environments, the noisy coffee shop, the, the cafe. You can go in without dreading it. You're more relaxed. And of course, being able to talk on the phone, listen to music, all of that is much more wonderful with the Nucleus 6. So it's really about those experiences and different things that you can do with your hearing that you may not think you could have done before. So if you're kind of debating, you know, like, oh, I, I'm doing just fine with my Nucleus Freedom or Esper 3G, you really don't know what you're missing out on until you try it. And once you try it, you're going to wonder, why didn't I do this sooner? I know what it's done for me, and I definitely want to have that amazing experience for all of those Nucleus 22 implant recipients out there.